And now, it's time for Wally Wise Guys with Wise Words of the Week. Today, we're going to make an emergency evacuation kit, or as we like to call it, a go bag. In the event that you need to evacuate your home due to fire or flooding or another emergency, it's a good idea to have one of these on hand, just in case. So, uh, you know, many of these items are, are very essential and can be found uh, easy enough at your dollar store. Uh, we'll start off with just uh, an extra set of keys, an extra set of house keys, and an extra set of car keys. Uh, next, you'll want to include uh, some uh, ATM or credit cards. Uh, just a, you know, a few small bills, you know, tens, fives, ones, just uh, so you have a little uh, cash in your pocket just in case. You'll also, of course, want to include some bottled water and some ready-to-eat uh, emergency food supply, like uh, this uh, emergency ration, or you can include granola bars or, or energy bars. A uh, flashlight is always a good idea to have in an emergency, um, or in uh, a radio as well, as well as some, some extra batteries uh, so that everything's working properly. Uh, one thing you can buy is a, a wind-up flashlight like this one. You wind it up, it doesn't need batteries, so, uh, so it works. Uh, this is also a radio again, so you don't need batteries. And uh, you can also plug in your uh, cellular phones to this and uh, you can uh, charge those as well. It's a good idea to include some extra medication or any vitamins that you might be taking. First aid kit. Um, might be a good idea to include some sturdy, comfortable shoes in case there's, uh, you might have to be doing some walking, some lightweight rain gear, and a uh, mylar blanket in case, uh, in case it's cold out. It's a good idea to include some personal items, maybe some ha hand sanitizer, uh, some floss, toothbrush, toothpaste. Uh, some toilet paper and some baby wipes are a good idea. Uh, you also want to include any important documents, make some copies of uh, insurance cards, photo IDs, birth certificates, um, just anything where you can prove your identity, prove your address, and uh, prove uh, what property belongs to you. And then you want to keep it in a waterproof and portable container. You also want to include in here uh, some emergency contact information and uh, just your general family emergency plan. Uh, you, you can find uh, templates for your family emergency plan on fill.gov slash ready. You can just fill those out. It's just a one to two page paper. It doesn't take much time just to, to fill in some contact information as well as inf information on, on what your family is going to do in the event of an emergency. Uh, you can also find on fill.gov slash ready uh, a list of all the emergency supplies you might like to have. Uh, there's a list for uh, this bag, as well as for uh, a shelter-in-place kit. That's going to be, you might want to keep that uh, with your emergency supply items or, or just to pick it out and use it as a, as a checklist. And finally, a small regional map, just in case uh, you do need to evacuate. Uh, it's going to be to have a map on hand so you can uh, find a safe location and get there as quickly as possible. For more information, on uh, any other type of uh, emergency supplies that you may need, or just general emergency preparedness information, or the latest emergency alerts, visit philo.gov slash ready. You can also follow Phila OEM on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Blogspot. Until next time, I'm Ed Vassallo, Ready Coordinator for Philadelphia's Office of Emergency Management, reminding you to be ready.